you got um my grandmother um in spanish always and she always told me about um a concept called orar y obrar mm. right she's cuban mm -hmm. and so um i'm gonna take a little segue uh, where she talks about how um you know, there's, she gives a little story where it, what that means is like you can't just pray; you got to work too. Mm -hmm. um, and so, essentially, essentially, a pastor goes to a man who's unemployed for like twelve months, and then she, he's like, um, "You know, what? How, how how you been, sir? How you been doing? Like, how's the job search?" He's like, "Oh man, I'm just praying for it." Um, okay, great. Checks in next week. How you been doing? Oh, I just been praying for it. Great. You know, how, next week. How you been doing? Just, praying for it and the, and what he says is orario brad you can't just pray for it you got to put in the work it's not about the idea it's about the execution it's not just about knowing what your path is it's like like absorbing the lessons and executing so i, I surround myself by spirit-led people i surround myself by intelligent people i surround myself by an emotionally intelligent people that um that give me the insight that i need in order to overcome obstacles and um and I recognize that most things that I have in life and that I will ever get in life now and forever, I probably won't get it the first time. Mm. And that's okay. You know, that just makes the story better. So mm. that's how, that's how, that's how I operate.